So tomorrow I'm going to the clinic to get a procedure done on my leg. I am very nervous. I have been dreading this appointment for the past three months. Let's take a look at what's wrong with my leg and how you can detect it in case you have the same thing. So two years ago, I noticed a bump on my leg and I do have family history of deep vein thrombosis. My grandma suffers from it and I have witnessed the impact it could have to someone's life. Deep vein thrombosis is when you have a blood clot form in a deep vein and it causes swelling, pain, uh, issues with mobility, just a lot of problems that I don't really want to have. <laughs> So immediately I was scared that maybe I'm suffering from something similar and that my bump on my leg might be a blood clot. I was able to get my first consultation in August and the doctor there uh, did an ultrasound to check my leg. It was not at all an invasive procedure, to be honest, it, it was actually quite interesting. One he confirmed, thankfully I did not have a blood clot. But however, my vein was not working properly and it wasn't just my vein and my lower leg, it was going all the way up to my hips, so it was a bigger vein. Veins are supposed to bring blood back to your heart, so they pump blood uh, against gravity and how they do that is that they have little valves that allow them to close it each step of the way and when a vein is damaged, those valves can be weakened and then blood kind of goes back down uh, through your vein rather than pumping up to your heart. It was actually a varicose vein that I had. Another characteristic of varicose veins is that they're not going to be straight with like normal veins. They're gonna be a little bit windy, which is something that I could already kind of see because I could follow my vein even without the ultrasound. I could kind of see little blue ramifications on my leg. And that could be, for example, a sign for you if you have kind of like a little bump on your leg or you see your vein kind of going all over the place. That could be an indication of a varicose vein. Another thing that I felt is kind of pressure where I had those bumps. So let's say I would walk for a really long time, I would kind of feel pressure there, even pain sometimes. And uh, that is also why I decided to go get it checked. But it's not necessarily associated to your age. He's had some young patients have it as well. And that it's best to treat it because it's only going to get worse and you might have more pain or more pressure in it and the appearance of it, it will also get worse over time. So especially because I was quite young, I'm 31, he suggested that we treat the vein. So there are a few ways that you could treat varicose veins and one of them is called sclerotherapy where a chemical is injected into your vein causing it to kind of shrink and die I guess. Um, so it's filled with foam and blocked uh, so that blood can go through it any longer and that's pretty much what I'll be having done on Monday which is tomorrow. Good morning guys, so it's the next day. I just woke up, I've taken a shower just because I don't know if I'll be able to shower after my appointment. And I'm having a quick breakfast. I skipped my coffee this morning, unfortunately. I've made some tea with my collagen powder and a little bit of stevia. I'm having an apple and a bagel and we'll be heading out to my appointment. So for my outfit today, I actually opted for shorts just because I am getting my vein treated all the way up here to my hip and one other thing I've been trying to do is not shaving in the like 24 or 48 hours before my appointment and not putting any lotion just so that it doesn't interfere with the procedure so we're ready for my appointment and we're gonna head out I'm actually leaving really ahead of time because I want to make sure I'm there on time so that I don't have any kind of extra stress. But I'll see you guys on the other side. Funny story, as we got to the doctor's office, 
and we started just talking about the procedure and all the details so he mentioned that in 25 years he's never had a deep vein tr thrombosis happen to him but recently in the past week he had his first one so it wasn't off to a good start i definitely got a little bit more nervous just kind of thinking about that but he also explained that if ever a deep vein thrombosis happens to you during the procedure it's um something that can still be cured so he would give you blood thinners and then hopefully the clot will dissolve Basically, the danger is if it, the clot was to travel to your lungs or heart and then cause any complications. So yeah, I had it done. It went well, thankfully. I was in one of those cases for now, knock on wood. So if ever I feel any kind of cramping in my leg, um, I would have to go back and get that checked up. But for now, we're doing good. Um, I have a compression sock on. It's very, very sexy, yes. <laughs> I actually forgot to ask how long I have to wear the compression sock for, but they told me I can call back at any time, no problem. They're gonna give me all the information. In terms of pain, guys, it was not that bad. Honestly, in terms of pain, it's just the needle, obviously, so you do feel the needle, and then because I think the needle is kind of in for a while until the foam is kind of infusing, um, you do kind of feel it for a while, so I was just kind of meditating, trying to breathe, but the pain is not that, that much, it's probably like, I don't know, like two or three on ten, nothing crazy. And then once it's done, uh, he kind of does the ultrasound again just to see if the foam filled your vein. So on the ultrasound, what I could see is there was like one huge gap in my vein, kind of like, looked kind of like a black hole on the ultrasound. And then as soon as we put the foam in, that was filled. And then he kind of follows your vein all the way from top to bottom to see where the foam went. And for me, it went really good. It's filled kind of a lot of the vein and even went all the way down to my lower uh, part of my vein. However, I do have to go back for a second treatment, just kind of touch it up in that lower part because he said that there's a maximum that they can inject, a maximum amount of foam that they can inject in time uh, just to kind of make sure it doesn't overflow and, and block anything else. So. Uh, I'll be going back in about four weeks for my second treatment and kind of final treatment, hopefully. Um, but once he did that, I, I felt a little bit of pain. It is normal the first day that you feel pain in your vein. I would say it was like a 1 on 10. Um, it just felt like a little bit of weakness maybe and some stinging sensation in my vein. Uh, but nothing too too bad um, right after the procedure I was told to go for a walk rather than driving right away so I did go to Tim Hortons get a little snack get a little walk in it actually felt quite good um, my leg was hurting a tiny bit but nothing too crazy and the whole day today I actually have to be walking um, so I'm gonna go meet up with my friend and we're gonna go for a nice walk so that I can stay active and hopefully avoid any complications. In terms of exercise, I was actually told that I can just go back to my normal life as of tomorrow. Um, I could go to the gym, I could do everything as usual. The worst actually is to be really sedentary because I had that done. So I really do need to make sure that I am active and that my blood is circulating to prevent any complications. One thing that didn't happen to me but it could happen is that you get some discoloration in the vein apparently um, and then that would subside within probably two three months i was told however in my case it doesn't look like i have anything so far maybe the second treatment because my vein is a little bit more on the surface on the bottom of my leg so we'll see how uh, how that goes the second time around one thing i want to mention it's actually really good that i wear shorts i would recommend that you wear shorts or at least you take shorts with you that you change in during the appointment i thought initially that maybe i could go into in like a skirt or like more like loose pants but not really especially when they're doing your vein all the way up because in order for you to be kind of close to the machine for example mine was on the right side i had to kind of twist in a weird way i'd say shorts are 
are your best option if you're getting this procedure done? Okay, so during the procedure, um, they actually injected right here, okay? And then I guess the foam kind of travels up all the way to your leg and then down a little bit for me. So what's left for me to treat is kind of this part of the vein, which I'm going to go treat my second appointment. One thing I was also told is that if I wanted to be really, really careful, if, um, you know, I, if you're somebody that works um, in front of the computer like I do, one thing that's recommended is for you to kind of get up every hour and just do a little walk in around uh, your house so that you're not too sedentary. Um, but you also really have to wear your stocking during the day just because during the day you're kind of standing up or sitting down. So there's a lot of kind of gravity that affects you. So yeah, that's it. We did it. And I'll let you know how it goes in a couple of days. Hey guys, it is now Friday. So it has been five days since my procedure and I wanted to give you a little update on my recovery. First, I have been wearing my sock day and night. I know that you're only supposed to wear it for 24 hours and then you can just wear it during the day. You don't need to sleep with it. However, I find it really difficult to put the sock back on because it's so compressive. I actually broke my nail doing that. So I prefer to keep it on. It doesn't bother me as much. And I also kind of feel nervous taking it off for some reason. I had to shower a couple days ago and I took the sock off and it just felt so strange. But yeah, I've been sleeping with it. The elastic doesn't bother me that much. Sometimes I kind of roll it down so that it's a little more comfortable. The other thing I've done is because I am back to work, so I am sitting the whole day, I've kind of put a box in my feet to be able to elevate my foot. Um, and that's been working really well for me. I also try and get up maybe every one to two hours, just kind of walk to a kitchen and back so that I'm not sitting for a long period of time. In terms of activity, I am back to my normal life. I have been trying to walk more. So I've been trying to walk at least one hour sometimes i'll go for on walks during my lunch break and i've been trying to hit about 10,000 steps as much as possible which has been helping a lot when it comes to the gym i did go back for uh, my back day on tuesday so the day after my procedure um and it was fine i had a really good workout however i haven't been back for like day yet I am planning to go do my legs on Saturday, which is tomorrow. So that would be six days after my procedure. I just didn't feel very comfortable right away because of the bruising and my leg felt a little bit weak. Um, so I decided to kind of wait. My bruise is also healing. So it's turned kind of a yellow blue color um, and it's not as painful anymore. And it's not as hard. Um, so yeah, I think it's gonna heal nicely in the next week, hopefully, and I'll be fully back to normal and ready for round two. I am going back in two weeks and a half for my next appointment. So yeah, I'm looking forward to just kind of having the second part done and everything healed and finished. After that, I just need to go back once a year to double check that everything's okay. And if ever, I might need to do a little touch up, but I'd imagine that'd be a lot less painful. I am glad that I did. I mean, over time, it would have just gotten worse and it would have looked worse. And for now, it's, it's good to be aware, I think, as well, because if I'm going for a checkup once a year, they're going to check the rest of my veins as well. So if ever I'm having any other issues, I'll be able to catch them on time. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and that it was helpful for you in case you're going through the same thing. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section and I'll make sure to answer them. So yeah, wishing you a nice rest of the day.